Derek with the Lemon X. Just finished up with this uh, house doing a squirrel removal setup. So we put uh, uh, bait monitors up in the attic uh, gutter line. And then we put these traps here with the, uh, the Trap Smart system. So we have the transmitter that gives out the, sev the satellite signal. It's featured on uh, trapsmart.com and also on uh, our website, newjerseypass.com. So you'll see that featured in a lot of our videos. It's a humane way when we capture any wildlife animal that we're targeting, even non-target animals, that's the whole point. Whatever we catch, uh, we'll know in real time immediately if uh, this trap has been triggered. Uh, I mean, the only way it's triggered, it's not from vibrations, from an actual, it's actually pulling the switch when the door closes. So we know that the trap door closed. And that is... So, so we may set it up in a way after a couple years of doing this, this way, uh, we have reduced the, uh, the mishaps and, and, uh, and, and, um, the, uh, what do we have? You know, the false alarms, because sometimes they get compromised of traps, they get stuck, something happens, uh. And the and the signal doesn't go off because because uh, there was a malfunction in the setup actually, so we have it where it's really tight, and the only thing that's going to pull that trigger is uh, if that trap door closes, or you know someone's messing with it. But usually, usually in this setup, um, the trap door 99% of the time the trap door will close, and it gives enough space for the animal to go inside. It doesn't mess with the mechanism at all. Because we put these sensors around top of the trap and then it messed with the linkage and everything. Sometimes it would pull the trap right off. So this is great. So we'll know in real time. That's how we're available seven days a week now. We don't have to disengage the traps because when we were only working during the week, if we anticipated even having one day off, we'd have to go find our traps and disengage them so they won't go off. Now we can just leave them. We can just leave them alive, and uh, as long as we're on call, as long as we're in, in in town in the area that we can respond. <laughs> A lot of allergies today. Excuse me, but we already uh, did a full inspection of the property in the attic space in the exterior. We did the roofing roofing. Uh, the inspection wrote a full report, so we know it's Eastern Grace, and also they've been seeing the uh, the squirrels running across the fence here. I haven't seen one yet today. There's a dray. There's a uh, a dray. There's an outside nest. Usually the males. When these uh, leaves fall, we'll probably see more nesting spots on the trees where they can actually uh, oh, oh, sleep. You know, get some, get enough shelter from the cold cold weather, and they'll have a little, Highly likely chance to survive if it's not, you know, below 10 degrees for a period of time. They're very resilient if they can find shelter. And they actually have nests in the winter time too, so their their population grows during the time that they should be dying off. Which is strange. I always thought they would uh, have nests when the weather's great, but they actually have nests when the weather's cold. Which is quite unusual, but I think in that that there's less competition, there's less chance for uh, predators. So I guess that would be a, probably a good time to the, 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 the make, have your nest and have your litter, even though uh, there'd be more of a shortage of food. Um, but I guess I suppose with that, with how they adapt by having their uh, litter, their nesting time, and the, then those cold weather months is just... So there's less uh, territorial uh, fight, fighting for the territory. They're all kind of like in their own spots. So they have a more of a likely chance to survive due, due to com uh, less competition in their area. So, well, let's get, it'll be fall within about a month. We're gonna, it'll be in full swing. So we got to get more of these systems because you can only use one system per house. And... Uh, I have to order some more, but we have really good success with this. 
success. It's just so we can just do any kind of trapping without worry. And if we can make adjustments if we're not catching anything, then we can uh, adjust, put more traps, additional more traps, or uh, move the traps to a different spot. All right, well, we'll do a follow-up. Hopefully our follow-up video will have a captured uh, squirrel in here, hopefully by tomorrow, maybe tonight. Overnight, I can come first thing in the morning. I don't have to get them right away. Within four, six hours, adequate time. The regulation is 24 hours, but it's really six hours is the ideal time to come retrieve them and also we have record you know client comes home at the end of the day or on a weekend he sees the animal in the trap they call frantically thinking you know we 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 left them in the trap or whatever and i'm like well we already know we we know exactly what time we we caught them so his <laughs> client get you know get fr freaks out thinking that the, the animal has been in the traps for a number of days or all day or whatever and we didn't know or we didn't check on it we don't come immediately, we just, we're just aware. So, if you see this setup, then uh, we do know what's going on. We're, it, it is live, so give us a call. Check out our website, NewJerseyPest.com. Lemonex. Have a good day.